Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here. I am going to start my next part of my Bath and Body Works kind of collection and just body care projects, products in general. So I have done all of my lotions and all of my like body washes, and I did those, and I also did the ones that are not necessarily Bath and Body Works, but I have as well. So today I wanted to start my fine fragrance mists and my body sprays. I'm going to start with my minis, but each of these are going to be in two parts because I do have some of my collection at my parents' house and some of at mine. So some of it you won't see till the summer, but these are all the ones that I have with me right now at my place and just wanted to go through. I'm going to start with the minis. So this will be a pretty quick video. I'm going to do the minis today. Then you'll see, um, various ones and then probably two parts on my full-size fine fragrance mist just because I have so many of them and I'm trying to keep these semi short before I start don't forget to, to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already I do bath and body work content kind of on the regular I'm trying to cut back a little bit on my spending just because I have so much as you probably can see but I also do perfume and beauty and makeup and skincare and all of that type of stuff too and also don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any of these, what your thoughts are on these, what your favorite scents are from Bath & Body Works, what you wanna see come back. I wanna know that. Like there's a few of these that I really hope they bring back someday. I'm gonna start with some of my older ones that are in the older packaging, I guess is the best way to say it. So I have, ooh, does it wanna, does it wanna focus? This is a champagne, apple, and honey. And on these minis, I'm sorry, I don't have the notes. I. I would look them all up, but that's a lot of looking up notes for these. So that has uh, apples and honey in it, obviously. And then we have Moonlight Path, which has some florals and some musk. It's a very light powdery type of a scent, very floral. This is an older one. I anticipate finishing this one this year, just because I like that as a nighttime pillow spray. And then I have Pink Chiffon. I love Pink Chiffon. I wish they would bring back Pink Chiffon. That's one of the ones that I wish they would bring back. And this has, um, I think it has a pear in it and has some peony. It's a really kind of fresh, fruity, floral, very light and girly, very spring-like. Um, yeah. They don't smell as good in these packaging, I feel, as in the newer packaging. Then I have a few that came out last summer. So I have Golden Mango Lagoon. This was such a good one. I do really enjoy that one. I like the minis because I think they're cute to display as well. Then I have Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one is a nice juicy pineapple. And then Watermelon Mojito, which probably, I love watermelon. Watermelon is one of my favorite scents, but it's probably my least favorite of all of these, but I do have it. And then I have a few that are like the signature scents that they put out because I pick these up when they have, you know, body care up to $8.95 or $9.95, depending. I think that's usually an $8.95 coupon, so I get the most expensive thing I can. So I have Into the Night with this packaging. And then I have Among the Clouds. I love Among the Clouds. I'm very sad that it seems to have been going away. It was on sale anyway at SAS. I haven't been in since SAS though. I'm trying to be good. And then we have A Thousand Wishes. This is another nice one. And then Midnight Amber Glow. This is not my favorite. I have this in the lotion. And there's something about it that I don't really love. And I think it might be the amber, but I just didn't play well on my skin. So, but I do have a mini in it because uh, I have several of the signature ones. Rounding out, I have some holiday ones. And some of these I really love and I hope that they bring them back. First up is Raspberry Sugar. Raspberry Sugar, why did I say that weird? I think this is such a nice one. It's a bright, fruity, I love raspberry. So, and this one is just kind of a very lovely, bright fruit scent. And I love, I love things that smell like drinks. And this smells like, kind of like, you know, like a Kool-Aid, not quite a Kool-Aid, but you know, something, a fruity, fun drink. And I love that about it. Then we have Strawberry Snowflakes. This is another one that I absolutely love. This is probably, this might be my favorite scent that they've put out in the past few years. I absolutely love this one. There, I also really loved Vanilla Mocha Martini or Vanilla Mocha Cream, whatever you want to call it. That one was really good too, but Strawberry Snowflakes might be my favorite. Then we have Fresh Sparkling Snow. This one probably I like 
a little bit less than the other ones. It does have like that kind of airiness to it, and but it's still nice. I do like it. It's just not an absolute love like the other two, but I still think like it would be nice to bring it back. Then I have two snowflakes and cashmere. I didn't realize I had this one, so I picked up another one this year. So this was last year's packaging, yeah, 2022, and it was cute enough. I like this year's packaging better, snowflakes and cashmere. I thought this would be another one that would be nice to spray on my pillows at night or you know my pajamas because it's a nice light kind of a scent. It does have a little citrus in it, but I do like it. I don't know if it's a love love for me. And it's one that if they brought it back, I probably pick up more of it, but it's not one that I feel a need to have more of. I wish they would bring back Magic in the Air though. That one I absolutely love. This one they did bring back this year, but I have the older packaging. I bought so many of these. I have, I think I have five of these. So it's, and I don't wear them as much as I should. It's hot cocoa and cream. I just don't smell like chocolate a whole lot. But I do have two of those here. I think I have two or three also at my parents' house because I just had them everywhere. I love this scent, this next one. This is one of my favorites. This is rainbow candy or swirl candy. I always want to call it the wrong thing. This smells so good. It's like has a little bit of mint in it, has some fruitiness to it, has like some citrus to it. It's so different. It's so good. I love the hand cream in this. I love the... Uh, spray in this I actually probably will spray myself with this a, a little bit later right now I have some apple on and I don't know how well it would mix with the apples that I put on let me know your scent of the day too my scent of the day today is apple brandy on the rocks by Killian mixed with apple love from Ellis Brooklyn and it's a nice one because apple brandy can be just a little too masculine for me anyway rainbow candy Rainbow Swirl Candy is one that I definitely wish they would bring back. I think it is so good. I absolutely really love it. My last two are fall type scents. And the reason why I have them here was because of the fall. And this one would be another good one to layer today. This is a pumpkin apple and it's pumpkin and apple. They have never, I don't think they've ever put any out in full size body care. And then the other one is white coconut caramel. This is an interesting one. It does have some coconut to it but it is very very sweet like that caramel is a very prominent note so it's not one that I reach for a super super I don't reach for a lot that's what I'm trying to say but I still think it's a good this one is gonna take me a long time to get through because it is so rich and so sweet it's a little bit too sweet for me which is saying a lot but it also feels like it's a little bit gravitating towards bakery and bakery um, makes me feel nauseated a little bit most of the bakery notes that Bath Body Works does and other brands too so I don't re reach for those quite as much this one I'm okay with but it is super sweet so that's it for my minis that I have with me like I said there is going to be a whole series there's going to be at least three more videos of the stuff that I have with me uh, at my house and uh, my office because I keep some of the stuff in my office and then I will be doing uh, this summer what I have at my parents as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.